Hi, finally I come into the workshop. Then I will show you how the workshop works. Follow me here. You can see here is the workshop for cutting. You can see now they are making new bags. I will show you how they make. Follow me. Here is the cutting step, the final step. Wow, I love these colors. You can see there are different colors. They should be same same customer's product. They are just in different color, maybe different flavor. You can see before cutting it will be like this. This is a film rose. And then it will be folded slowly. Here you can see. Here. Wow, it's a small stand-up bag. You can see here in the bottom. The bottom is added after. Here the, uh, the bottom already added into the bag. And this bag simply uh, doesn't need the zipper. And this step, the bottom will be heat sealed. Slowly, slowly, all the other side, all the other side will be, will be heat sealed through this, this small part. Okay, here, that's the final bag, very small bag, but love the colors. You can see, a very small, cute bag. Okay, and this is a flat bag, but doesn't need zipper. I will show you how the zipper bag I'm making. Here, this way. Can you see the zipper? Wow, it's a double zipper. Same thing, same thing. You can see here. You can see? Before cutting, it's still a row, a whole row. Can you see the window? Here, clear window, the stand out bottom. And it will be folded slowly. Can you see? Here the bottom. And here, this place, we add a zipper. Can you see? Well, it's double zipper, this bag. Double zipper make your bag very uh, strong. And this part, after this, the zipper will be heat sealed. And this part of the bottom will be sealed. All the others, after this small pass, all the other side will be sealed too. So finally it will be a final bag. Let me show you how it look like here. Can you see? It's a stand-up bag with zipper and the window. Okay, so this is actually the last step for a bag. It's for cutting. Um, you can see here the whole workshop. The whole workshop. There are more than ten lengths, ten work lengths, all for all for cutting. And uh, before that, before that, there is uh, another step means lamination. I will show you lamination first. Just follow me. Oh, since so this is the last step, here, this place is already uh, the ready-made bag, so you can see. Here are many different bags. You can see, I will show you uh, some child resistance bag. You can see the pinch. And uh, here are some foil bag. Half foil, half clear. Others, there are so many bags. And this one is with UV printing, can you see? Can you see the UV printing? Half matte, half glossy. And that part, I will show you just here. Some 
customers want their uh, packaging to be customized. So this customer wants two bottles in one PP bag, and 10 PP bag in one small box, and 10 small box in a, in a big box. So we are working on it now. You can see many people working on it. So we can have very fast time to uh, arrange the shipment. Okay, let's go for next step. So this this part is uh this part is all for the cutting and next I will show you the lamination. Here you can see it's the lamination part. All this machine, there are one, two, three, four, four parts for lamination. Let me show you a detail one. For example, this one, you can see this is the offset layer, the printing layer. Seems like it's MOPP, it's a matte layer. And then we need to meet, meet another. Here is the middle layer, it's the foil layer middle. Can you see? And here, how can we make lamination? We need glue. And uh, the foil layer with the outside printing layer, they meet each other and with glue. And when the glue is dry enough, so finally it will be like this. Also, you cannot see, but the upper side is the printing, and the, the upper side is the foil layer. Okay? And this will also do the same thing, also for lamination. And here on my left hand is a solid room, solid room. Let me show you. You can see there were one, two, three, two small ones and the, three, uh, the one big one. It's also for the solid. Why should we need solid? Because you know, when we do lamination, we need the glue. And the glue needs to be dry enough and smell proof. So we need this. And you can see here are the temperature here. Can you see? Based on different material inside, there will be different temperature. So normally they will put in this room for around 24 to 48 hours. After that, the bag will be strong enough and smell proof to be cutting. Okay, last I will show you for printing. Just follow me. Uh, here they are just uh, packing the film rolls. Some inner bag without any printing. They are just uh, packing it. Okay, here this way. This is our printing workshop. I you see this one is stopped now because they will they will change some new design. You can see here. Wow, we're so lucky. They are just changing some new cylinders. You can see, these cylinders will be put onto the machine later, and uh, it will be changed another design. So I will show you how we make design. Let's, let's go to that one. You can see all this. They are already printed. Already printed. And this is our printing machine. And it's our worker. You can see, you can see, you can see inside. Here is the color. Uh, it's purple, purple color. And there is a cylinder and your designs on the cylinder. And after you put the ink, you put the cylinder into the ink. And it can be printed on the rows. And one color by one color, you can see. There's red color, the yellow, and finally normally will be white color. And you can see after all printing, all colors here. here. And this will be the final effect.
Okay, that's all about the workshop from the very beginning is cutting and then is lamination and the solid room and here is the printing room. If there is a chance, you can come and visit our workshop. I will show you more details. So far, let's back to the lab room. Bye bye.